Right now, we're not getting along with Russia at all. It wasn't supposed to be like this. U.S.-Russia relations were supposed to improve under the Trump administration. But the Syrian nerve gas attack blamed on Russia's ally Bashar al-Assad and the U.S. missile attack against Syria has caused U.S.-Russia ties to hit bottom. The current state of U.S.-Russia relations is at a low point. Russian President Vladimir Putin also said on Russian TV that the level of trust has deteriorated. This after Secretary of State Rex Tillerson faced an unusually hostile reception in Moscow. The U.S. missile strike on Syria that triggered the diplomatic crisis hit a Syrian airbase where there had been Russian military personnel. So did Moscow know about the chemical weapons? I would like to think that they didn't know, but certainly they could have. They were there. So we'll find out. After a tense two-hour closed-door meeting with Putin, Tillerson then angered Russia by bluntly calling for regime change in Damascus. Our view is that the reign of the Assad family is coming to an end. But Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, referring to Iraq, said experiments like that, which are built on an obsession with overthrowing dictators, totalitarian or authoritarian leaders, we have already seen. We know the ending of it way too well. The two sides also agreed to disagree about Ukraine, where Moscow backs rebel forces. With relations between the two nuclear powers worsening, Google Trends reports Internet searches for the term World War III have hit an all-time high. The world's two foremost nuclear powers cannot have this kind of relationship. And the U.S. warned Russia that it is only isolating itself with its continued support of Assad. Dale Hurd, CBN News.